so here's Ruby. I was gonna wait until I got to like a public parking lot to give you guys a tour, but today we stopped at the scenic overlook on the side of this highway in West Virginia. And there's basically nobody else here except for this one trucker behind me. So <laughs> thought this might be a good spot to give you guys a tour. We'll start here on the passenger side. So first in the door handle, we have our window curtains that we put up over the windows at night. And then I've got my Yeti mug. Um, so initially this was gonna be empty and just the shoes were gonna be up here. So I've got some rearranging going on, more to come. But I found it makes more sense to have the passenger seat be like the bathroom. So this is what I'll take in with me when I go in to shower. Um, I've got my hair stuff bag, glasses, shower stuff, and then just basic like skincare, uh, toothbrush stuff in there. So depending on what I'm doing in the bathroom, everything that I would need is in this bag. And then I've got some of my solar powered products. Um, so I've got my solar powered lanterns, my solar powered fan, which is also a light and has a USB charging port. So that's been really helpful to just like charge my phone. Uh, I keep my tripod up here right next to me for easy access and also this solar powered charging bank as well. Initially, I wanted all the solar powered stuff to be up here on the dash. Um, but they all just fall off. So this is where they live. Uh, I've got my book that I'm currently reading, You Are a Badass. So um, I'm about uh, that far through it. So far I really like it. Um, would definitely recommend it. Um, just some other basics I want on hand. My headlamp. Uh, I had this out last night. I was sleeping in the forest and then I had to pee in the middle of the night. So it was helpful just to have that easy access. A uh, hat and gloves. Uh, it's been colder than I expected, so it's just been nice to have those available. And then uh, this 2.5 water jug I picked up at Target. Um, you can see I've gone through quite a bit of it already, but it's been helpful. Um, I've just been like refilling water bottles. I've got my Hydro Flask here. I keep refilling it just from this. Uh, my neck pillow which I haven't been using, but it's just kind of handy to have it there. And then if I want to get into the glove box, I do have to move this bag out of the way. Um, and then in the glove box, um, I've got some basic glove box items, like extra napkins, all of like my car paperwork stuff. Um, but I've also got an open box of contacts up there. And then I also have these body wipes um, for if I don't have access to a shower and I want to just do like a quick like body wipe off kind of thing. It's on the inside of the car. Um, right up on the edges here I've got some velcro stickers so that is what this curtain will stick to. Back side of the passenger seat. When we open it up it does look kind of a mess but that's okay. Um, and the door, again, we've got the curtain for this door, same kind of Velcro stickers on the inside part of here. Uh, I've got a spray bottle for water. Um, good for like cleaning things or just like spraying my face with water if I don't have access to a sink. And then we've got our multi-tool um, knife, scissors, this Gerber one um, right there, handy. So I can reach it from this side for protection as well. We have a leaf that shouldn't be with us. Leave no trace, take nothing. Okay. So then when we first open it up, we'll start on the top. Um, this is my main dresser, which I'll show you guys better from the other side. And then this part would go on top of here, but it didn't quite fit like that. But that's fine, because then it makes a nice kind of bedside table when I'm sleeping too. Um, and then just right behind the passenger seat, I keep the garbage bag there. And then I've got a bag full of snacks. Um, I've got coffee and some peanut butter crackers and a big thing of oats in there right now. 
Um, I've got some other plastic bags full of stuff that I bought from Target the other day. Um, some more food over there as well. And then this backpack um, is my good travel backpack. It's the one that only opens from the back side so no one can steal stuff from you when you're wearing it. But it's also where I'm keeping all of the electronics, all of the filming gear. And then right um, on this side of the passenger seat is where I keep my DoorDash bag so we can make some money while we're on the road. And then right underneath uh, this side of the bed frame, you can see there's tons of storage and stuff is falling out. It does tend to fall over as I'm driving, um, but that's okay. Here we've got some extra canvas for some paintings that we'll be doing when we're somewhere a little bit warmer. We got our toolbox here. Um, we have this um, chamois, sh however you pronounce it. Uh, it's a, like a swim towel, um, but it it's really small, smaller than a normal towel, and it keeps you uh, or it dries you off really quickly. This is also where I keep my Jackery 240. Um, I found this one is pretty good for me. Um, I might need to upgrade just because this outlet wasn't powerful enough to get my electric kettle, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for, um, to boil any water for me. It would just shut off, um, but it's good for charging my phone and other products that I use quite frequently. And I like it right here so that at night when I'm sleeping, I can set those items on this little bedside table and still have them charging at night. I also have some just like paper towel right here. I've got these curtain um or like window coverings that'll still like let the light in you can still see through them but it just kind of um makes it a little shadier uh got my laundry stuff here and then this was initially where all of the bathroom stuff was as well so some of it's still back here like my uh honeycomb mitt i love this for showering much better than a loofah or a washcloth it dries really fast it doesn't hold on to any of the products so um yeah you don't have to worry about mold or like replacing it or whatever um when i'm done taking a shower i will just hang it up on the oh shit hook and let it dry in the sun there as i'm driving and that's worked out perfectly this bag is my makeup bag, um, so honestly it's pretty big, I don't usually wear makeup anyways, but I've got some really nice stuff in here, so uh, if I do want to wear makeup that is available to me. Um, right behind that is the some more items that I bought from Target the other day, but like stuff that I felt like I might want with me, like dish soap and toilet paper, um, just still haven't unpacked that yet either. We've got our gym bag that's got our weights, um, our muscle roller, it's got yoga blocks, um, that kind of stuff in there. Behind that, we have our bug kit. So since I am spending, oh, I'm going to put that back down too. Since I am spending a lot of time in the woods, uh, it's important to protect myself from all the bugs and stuff out there. So I also have a little first aid kit in here, lots of bug sprays and wipes, um, those like bug repellent candles, and some uh, sunscreens are in here. I've got some after bite cream stuff in there too, so if I do get bit, I won't be too itchy. Um, underneath that one, I've got a bin full of just towels and washcloths um, for cleaning myself, cleaning dishes, cleaning Ruby, anything that needs cleaning. Um, then one of my favorite items that I actually haven't used yet is this pop-up. It's just a bucket, um, but it was marketed as a sink, so I can use that to wash my dishes, but I can also fill it up with water and then use this portable shower head, which I'll show you guys in another video um, when I show you different ways that you can shower on the road. Um, but this just goes in there in the bucket full of water and then you can take a shower. So there's tons of storage in here, as you can see. Um, we have our bag full of medicine. 
And then a bag of like backup items, got extra razor heads, extra floss, um, some like travel sized toothpaste and uh, travel sized skincare products for when I take uh, flights out of the country, I can have that stuff with me. Right underneath where those bags were, there is an extra bin. Um, right now it's just keeping my extra contacts in there. Um, I've got a couple extra cases of that so I don't have to stop back home at my eye doctor again for a few months. Hopefully it'll be warmer again by the next time I'd have to go back there. And then underneath that bin is kind of just our junk drawer. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but right now I'm not going to pull it all the way out because it's kind of hard to get it out actually. Um, but it's got like playing cards and sewing kits, a little vacuum. That's what that little turtle thing is. Um, it's a car vacuum. Um, and so just stuff I don't use super often, but if I did need it, I can get to it. It just requires pulling everything else out first. And right behind that, because you're not going to be able to see it very well from the other side, um, it's just another drawer or bin, I guess, full of bathroom items. Um, but these are more of like my fancy, like skincare, um, different like masks and stuff like that. Um, that I'm obviously not using super often on the road, but if I do want to pamper myself, I have that option available to me. Um, also back there is my hair dryer, so that's a cord too. Uh, but I haven't needed to use that at all, so it hasn't come out yet. Okay, so we're gonna keep going around to the back of Ruby now. Um, so I'll go ahead and open her up. She really needs a bath. So from the back side, this is what she looks like. So cute, so cozy. So when we first open her up on the passenger side here, we have my two-person pop-up tent. Um, she's got a curtain rod with her blackout. That's finger quotes, because um, it's definitely not really blackout, but that's how they were marketed, curtains. And the fairy lights, very aesthetic and cute at night. We've got a basket just full of extra blankets to make sure that I'm warm no matter where I am. Um, and then right in front of that one, uh, this is another like one of my most frequently used blankets, so I just keep it folded up right there. But it's on top of my bin full of books and journals, my Bible, my coloring book. Uh, and then also, um, I don't know why, but there are some plastic bags right here. Those would go in the junk drawer, but I must have just pulled those out. And I didn't get back to putting them underneath. Um, on the opposite side, we have another sort of pop-up tent thing, but this one is like, I can stand up in, all the way in it, and it's just big enough for one person to stand in. So I would use that one for showering. Um, behind that, there's a little pocket back here. So in here, I've got some extra water bottles. Um, and then I also keep one of these back here. It's a dehumidifier. Um, so it's actually worked really well. I haven't had like foggy windows on the inside at all. And then when it's all used up, the circle will turn pink. You can just pop it in the microwave, any truck stop, anything like that. Um, and then I have random safety stuff everywhere. So back here on this end of the bed, I have my ax. Um, and so I keep this big fuzzy white blanket. Uh, I've been sleeping with this one every night. I've got my fuzzy white pillow. But then um, what I'm actually sleeping on is my zero degree Teton mummy sleeping bag. And then underneath that we have my, uh, I think it's the 2.75 inch Wilpo memory foam mattress. And underneath that we have um, my yoga mat. And it does, it is longer than the length that's in here, but that's fine. I just roll it up and it sits there very nicely. Then underneath that, um, I have my big blanket. This was on my full-sized bed back at the apartment, um, but I just used that to set it 
um, over the entire bed frame area. It looks cuter and it adds an extra little bit of cushioning. Right underneath there is my table. Um, so I can pull it out and show it to you guys another time, but honestly it's like everything is folded down so flat. It feels nice and even all the way back when I'm sleeping in here. Um, you don't even notice that there's a table under there at all. And then in the back section, um, in the passenger side, this is where I keep my painting easel. Um, so I'll show you guys that better sometime when I pull that out. Honestly, like this would be a gorgeous view to go ahead and pull that out and just paint out here. Um, but I do have some places that I wanna get to today. So um, not gonna do that today. So that's where today's video is going to end as it is getting pretty long. But if you enjoyed the tour, please give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and make sure you're subscribed for part two coming soon. Thanks for watching. I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna meet, who you gonna meet, who you gonna meet. Wow, wow, wow.